A baby from Pueblo comes to Children's Hospital every two weeks to have his skull checked. That's because he was born with a condition that led to an abnormally shaped head. CBS4 Health Specialist Kathy Walsh joins us now. So how often does this happen, Kathy? About one in 2,500 newborns, hmm. Karen. It's called craniosynostosis. Cases can range from mild to severe. The baby boy we met had surgery, and you will see he is healthy and adorable. I love your helmet today. I do. Jude Maynard looks like a tiny aviator. His bright blue helmet matches his bright blue eyes. But it isn't just for show. Jude was getting a very long, kind of abnormally long head. When her baby boy was months old, Molly Kotner sensed a problem. Specialists at Children's Hospital Colorado found that Jude had a form of craniosynostosis. Some bones in his skull had fused too early. It was not allowing his brain and his head to grow out this way. At five months, through small incisions in Jude's scalp, surgeons removed a narrow strip of fused bone. All right, let's take this off. Jude has been wearing his specially molded helmet 23 hours a day to reshape his head. The helmet will put a roadblock in front to back and allow your head to grow side to side. Every two weeks, the baby's head is scanned. Certified orthotist and prosthetist Liz Peterson checks the size of Jude's head and the size of the helmet. It's too small. Jude is growing normally. He'll get a new, bigger helmet in two weeks. We're going to do a Colorado-themed helmet. That's the plan. <laughs> Molly does her best to make having the helmet fun, but she's looking forward to the day she can take it off her baby boy for good. And that could happen in just a few months. Jude needs to wear the helmet at least until his first birthday, and that is December 3rd. And you're right. I want to grab him and hold him. Adorable is an understatement, yeah. Isn't he the cutest thing? And what a sweet boy. No oh. crying, no carrying on. No. Oh, adorable. Thanks, Thanks Kathy. Kathy.